Thank you. Terency, Mrs. Retno, Lestari, Prianzari, Marzuti, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, I just finished visiting The Hague, where I delivered Indonesia oral statement at the advisory opinion hearing in the ICJ. People in Gaza continue to suffer because of the double standard, especially in the context of human rights. Today marks the 143rd day of Israel onslaught in Gaza and of the United Nations value to do what it is designed to do. For the third time, yet another Security Council resolution on Gaza was vetoed. The Human Rights Council should do what it is designed to do to address the gross violation of human rights, including in Gaza, including in Palestine. Colleagues, maybe I miss it. I didn't hear any single word on Gaza by the High Commissioner of Human Rights during his statement at the opening, state, uh, opening session. Maybe I just miss it. All of us, the global community, has to stand firm for this cause. Human rights must also be at the center of the Palestinian solution. The Council must therefore lead transformative action through three approaches. First, strengthen ecosystem for human rights. This is our collective responsibility to do so. On Indonesia part during its chairmanship, ASEAN pledged to enhance human rights cooperation through the leaders' declaration on ASEAN human rights dialogue. Promoting inclusive societies and nation building is very important, including in Afghanistan through the promotion of women and girls' right to education. We must invest in human rights. The Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights and crucial mechanisms like the Commission of Inquiry on the OPT must be adequately funded. We must continue to support this Council to provide technical assistance and capacity building in strengthening national capacities. Second, intensify our effort to address humanitarian crisis. Wars and conflict have triggered a massive displacement crisis. This call for the international cooperation and solidarity and fulfillment of the obligation outlined in the Refugee Convention. Moreover, Humanitarian mechanism must be strengthened and not be politicized. We cannot remain silent on the suspension of funding to UNRWA while funds to support war crimes in Gaza continue unabated. We cannot also lose sight of those who are impacted by economic downturns and climate change. We need more investment to ensure social safety nets and mitigation projects. Third, human rights must be protected and promoted on equal footing. This includes the need to respect right to development of every nation, to guarantee the well-being of the people, and enable the achievement of sustainable development goals. Collaboration should be aimed at safeguarding the right of persons in vulnerable situations, in particular women and girls, and also persons with disabilities and migrants. Mr. President, rest assured, as a member of Human Rights Council, Indonesia will place this concern at the forefront of our priorities. And to conclude, let us recommit ourselves to a world where justice is not selective and human rights are up upheld for all. Human rights are upheld for all. I thank you very much.
thank your excellency for your uh, declaration.